Thank you. So I have no disclosure. So the basis of our work comes back from our previous retrospective study showing that in men who underwent transurethral resection of a prostate compared to the general population of about the same age structure, they actually have a, a higher all-cause mortality compared to the group of the same age structure. We also have a longitudinal study working on cardiovascular risk in men with lowering tract symptoms. So based on that, we had a cohort of 974 men with lowering tract symptoms presenting to the urology clinic and they're prospectively followed. The aim of our study is to describe the incidence of acute urinary retention in a longitudinal cohort and we'd like to determine if there's an association existing between men who developed acute urinary retention within the study period and all-cause mortality. We'd also like to determine any factors that can be easily identified in the clinic to predict incident acute urinary retention and all-cause mortality. So this prospective study, we had 974 men who presented to our clinic. In its initial visit, we had a detailed history taken and questionnaire filled out. We had um, baseline blood tests as well as urophilometry, post sweat residual, and uh, hemodynamics measurements and prostate volume taken. They are followed at our clinic, and we pick uh, we off note whether there's therapy, whether medical or surgical was carried out. We'd also, from our database, we'd collect any information whether there's occurrence of acute urinary tension and mortality across the study period. We have put these into analysis, and the incidence rate of acute urinary retention and overall all-cause mortality is expressed in terms of rate per the thousand person years. So um, the age-specific incidence rate of development of acute urinary retention is about uh, the same as those previously reported in the literature. If we stratify the patient according to those who had retention versus those without, the factors differ from the age. The men with older age has more retention, and those with more occurrence of nocturia, higher blood pressure, as well as a smaller voided volume had more acute urinary retention. These factors are also an analyzed in those with all-cause mortality. So patients who passed away during before the end of the study were ana analyzed as well. The factors were similar um, and they differ between age, the weight, hypertension, diabetes, history of ischemic disease as well. Of note, the difference is most drastic in the volume of voided urine at baseline urophilometry. ROC uh, area under curve analysis showed that its value uh, AUC to predict acute urinary retention and all-cause mortality are 0.6 and 0.7 respectively. And these are the Kaplan-Meier curves depicting um, where the cutoff values are used 120 milliliters, 175 milliliters, and 250 milliliters of voided volume are taken respectively for the survival analysis to assess its predictability for future urinary retention, which is shown on the epigraphs, and the pre to predict um, all-cause mortality. With Cox regression proportional hazard analysis, we found that Reten um, acute urinary retention and dependent factors include age more than 67 and the volume of voided urine less than 250 milliliters. For all-cause mortality, it includes these both factors as well as diabetic. So in, so in conclusion, three easily identifiable factors in the clinic to predict retention in men having lowering tract symptoms include voided volume with a cutoff of 250 milliliters, nocturnal episodes three times or more per night, and prostate size. And this may help in prognosticating those with uh, lowering tract symptoms amongst with other medical comorbidities. Thank you. <clears throat>
Are there any questions from the floor? Did you look at post void residual at all? Yes, it was taken into measure, but it was not a significant. Not significant. Yeah, but the void of volume was very significant. Um, hi. Uh, so, Adrian White, Canada. Um, what was your required sample size to give you reasonable confidence in your findings? And what other comorbidities did you control for in your model? Because clearly, you've only given a very partial picture of the men. Um, sorry, I don't ca catch your first part of the question. Uh, what's your level of confidence in your results? What was your required sample size for your cohort? Um, the, if I remember correctly, the sample size, well, um, I don't think we have the, uh, the figure for it today. Um, as for the whether we have accounted for the uh, confounding factors, um, this is actually based on our previous work where we had a longitudinal study looking into various cardiovascular factors where um, there's a, a big group of men presenting to our clinic with lowering tract symptoms. So um, more work has been to be done on, on the previous studies as well. So did, did you include respiratory comorbidities or other significant causes of death? Uh, we did include cardiovascular risk factors um, like diabetic hypertension, is previous ischemic heart disease, cerebrovascular events as well. So no then. Um, thank you. Thank you. Any other questions, please? Uh, thank you very much. Thank you.